So hello everyone, my name is Rudy Jambil Grunyo, and at this moment, I'll be the one to continue the report about the planning test. So without any further delay, let's get started. A table of specification takes different form format depending on what teacher wants to show. One of the form and format of TUS is one-way TUS. It is often used for skills, printed subject like language and reading, or for a classroom formative test focusing on specific skills. As you can see, we have a table here. Let's take this table as one of example of TUS for language test. In this table, we have two columns. First column is objective and skills like identify the statement with errors verb use. The second one is supply the correct verb forms in the paragraph. And the third, prepare a news article reporting past school activity. And then we have the second column is for the number items and points. Teacher will decide how many items or points to be given to the test considering the following nature and grade level or thinking skills desired. In this example, we have 40 points. For the test or the item format, there are two general types can be utilized. It could be objective test items or non-objective or performance task. If we can say objective items, they have singular right or best answer for every item based on a K2 correction prepared in advance. On other hand, non-objective or performance task, non-objective items since scoring relay on the corrector's judgment guide by a rubric or standard for scoring prepared ahead. Performance test, on the other hand, required learners to construct or create response, writing or oral, like for example, write a letter, or performance task, like for example, design and experiment. Another TUS is shown in the table two for the same language test. This time, both elements are shown, that is what subject matter and skills, and how type of this format. A one-way table is distinguished from two-way table because the data entries in a one-way table refer to one variable, whereas the data entries in a two-way table refer to variables. So, table 3 show an expanded TUS by indicating the specific item format to be used in framing the test question. Kasagaran, kaning mga expanded TUS na nagabutang o specific item that be used as a measurement or basis sa pagama o question sa mga test. Planning a test blueprint for a long test like final examination may be presented by showing the different units of study that are meant to develop similar cognitive outcome as given in the table 4. Sa table 4, ang kaning type of TUS is the most likely to be used for final examination in which those all topics that have been tackled will be unit format. So there are other form of test specification like this table 5. Miller, Lane, and Groland in 2009 has shown a way of preparing a table of a specification that breaks down a learning outcome covering a wider domain. Here in the table, example, Misia has a table of specification for a mystery test on subject verb agreement, in which the first column na pakita si sa og subject type. Mani si sa the first column na 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 first person subject, second person subject, o third person subject. Then, in the second column, indicate this is just a used correct verb forms with singular subject. 
Anja na po ni Marag Silbing points niya. Ani. Then, used correct verb forms with plural subject. My third last third column. Then the last is number of items. Makita ni mo na nag-break down siya sa learning outcome na nag-cover sa wider domain. In a way, nag-gibay subject type, then gikategorize na siya by use correct verb form, forms with singular subject and the correct verb po siya sa plural subject. So, more to tanan ang report and I hope na mo'y na-learn sa akong report na topic. So, that's all and thank you.